Hello world, my name is Ben. This is AnyLogic 101, a quick video series where I explain tips and tricks I learned with the software over the years. And today I want to cover uh, an important topic I've touched upon before, and that's documenting your code. Super, super important. You all know it. Most of you don't do it, or rarely, or too little. Uh, and I have to say, I have become the opposite. I document a little bit too much for most professional standards and I've I've fared very very well with that so I want to show you today uh, a little bit more about documentation so previously I spoke about the description box and how you should use it for almost any object you drag into any logic so I do that quite religiously I it has saved my life many many times I last time just to cap up or, or recap, I was basically telling you use it and write in there why a particular piece is there. Not what is there, I can see that in the code, but write why. Preferably also use Java doc handles to sign it, to give it a date. Uh, for some functions you can also use at return or at param. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about uh, documenting your code in within the code itself inline documentation so first the basics uh, there are two two ways to document it um, there is the double slash way that makes everything at the rest of the line green and you can write whatever you want it's not going to be part of your code and it's colored green uh, and you can do that at the start of the line you can do that at the end of a line uh, whatever you like the second way to document is the forward slash star star backward slash method that kind of brackets in multi-line code so you can write several lines of code uh, and everything before and everything after is considered but whatever is inside here is not considered so with this one obviously you have to be careful to actually close that kind of bracket these are typically the two ways to document in code now when should you use which bit? For me, it's very rare within any logic code, within functions or whatever, to use the, the method I've just shown you with a kind of bracketing thing. I use the inline code because multi-line documentation code I typically put into the description box. The reason for that, just to remind you again, is that when you do code complete, you see what you put into the description box in a nice little pop-up window here. So that's why I use the multi-line code rarely. But I do use the, the one-line uh, slash slash uh, method quite a bit. Um, and it's a bit of an art. There is no prescribed best way to do it. The way I do it is I kind of form little chapters uh, with the philosophy of trying to say why a couple of lines of codes are here and not focusing too much on the what. But it is true that with inline code, uh, it is much more natural to write what this is and focus the why for the description tab. That's, that's my experience. So here, for example, I basically say what I'm doing in the next couple of lines, uh, destroying in all existing tasks if there are some. Okay. And then I follow, I create a new chapter here to basically say now I'm doing something else. I'm not really saying why. The why is down here, but I'm I'm sort of structuring my code. So that's how I use inline code at the start of a line of a code as sort of a beginning of a little chapter that say what's going to happen in the next couple of lines. But then there's also the way where you can use it at the end of a code line. And I use that also fairly frequently to describe the, the line of code, that specific line. So, for example, this is a classical why. I'm, I've got an if condition, I'm looping across something, and then I've got an if condition that checks something. Um, and it would take me, if I go back to this code in two or three weeks or in two or three months, it would take me a little bit, probably a minute or so, to figure out why this is here. So I already, when I code this, I know this is going to take some time for me to figure out in the future. So I put a little comment here to remind myself that I only want to create tasks up to a limit. So that's that's the why. Why is this here? 
you could argue like the, we could even make this why a little more specific um, actually say why do we want to limit so by all means go there the more wise you answer the better your code will be the better your model will be the easier it will be for you in the future to pick it up now for the advanced users um, some of you might also uh, just put up the project view might also work with Java classes um, and if you have a Java class, there's a third way of doing things, which is the forward slash star star uh, multi-line coding. And as you can see, that is that is colored um, blue, whereas the the one that I've shown you previously is colored green, as as we've seen before. So the blue one you use typically in front of a new function, and that will be used like the description tab for normal any logic objects. So if you call that function from your class and you've got some blue coded stuff in front of it, that's going to be shown in the code complete help, just to make a uh, full circle on inline documentation. All right, so let's recap. Two ways of documenting your model. One, use the description tab, and one is to use inline coding. The description tab, as in my other video, uh, you very, 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 absolutely must use it <laughs> there's no way around it and put in there why your function is there or your object is there the inline code uh, there are two ways there is the multi-line coding and the one line coding multi-line if you want to write a little longer to start a chapter inside your code that's fine i typically stick with one line and i use it at the beginning of a line to create a new chapter say what's going to happen in the next couple of lines and preferably a, a taste of why as well. And then I use the inline line coding at the end of a line to describe what happened in that specific line and why that's there. All right, I hope that makes sense and I hope you enjoy documenting your model. It will bite you if you don't do it. All right, thanks a lot.